Yeah. Russell and I were in a barn fire about a year ago. It's important to have an efficient exit strategy during the overwhelming stress of a fiery blaze. I was in a fucking fire. Not only did it burn my fucking MacBook computer, but it also burned my iPod Touch. Now the sun is bad. It is not only hot, it is made of fire. Funny story, I, I accidentally burned my hand the other day on the oven. I was cooking a pizza. Yeah, I was in a fire once. Where do you think I got these scars? Nom? Hell no! I was in a fire. I was in a fucking fire! I was in a fire! Were you in a fire? Have you ever been visited by nature's death warden? Bullshit you have. If you're in a fire, you'd be fucking dead right now. No question about it. I'm John Gleason. Tonight, we'll be talking about fires. Fires don't fuck around, and neither should you when it comes to fire safety. Last year, 100 people died. Why? Fire. Fire is the seed of Satan, and if it gets inside of you, you'll be dead. And if you don't want to be dead, and if you want to be alive, you'll listen to me. Fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers are very important. Don't ever touch them. Fire doors. Behind me is a fire door. You fucking push the thing. Fire exit. They're over doors, not windows. Think about it, dumbass. This is your standard issue safety sprinkler, also known as In the event of a fire, this guy will generate a shit ton of water. Fire's natural predator in the wild. However, like fire, water also has an appetite for destruction. And what the fire doesn't fuck, the water will. For instance, if you own a coronet, and sprinkler water gets in your coronet, your coronet will sound something like this. Who are you? Yeah, Russell and I were in a barn fire about a year ago. Russell, he hadn't been the same since. Fires, fucking fires. Great, fucking fires. I was in a fucking fire. Not only did it burn my fucking MacBook computer, but it also burned my iPod Touch. Make sure they get that touch. And it also burnt all the fucking tampons in my fucking closet. And I could have really used one to shove it up my ass, considering I was shitting kosher fucking Dale pickles. And it burnt all my fucking weed. Fuck. Did you know that your local city council planning board requires all industrial and commercial buildings to post a fire safety escape route on every single floor of their building? Most of them look like this bullshit. It's ridiculous. I don't know how the fuck you read this. That's why I made my own. It gets the job done. Now let's talk to someone who really knows their shit about fire safety escape. Now I got myself out of all kinds of tight, messy places. Jail cells, prison cells, prison camps, summer camps, houses, friends' houses, girlfriends' houses, nut houses, halfway houses. I even escaped from a dollhouse once. That's a joke. Can't fit a man inside a dollhouse. Doctors said I was the first baby they ever saw that had an escape route out of his own mama the back way. And I guess that's what makes me more qualified than most men to talk about the dangers of escaping a fire. It's important to have an efficient exit strategy during the overwhelming stress of a fiery blaze. If you don't know the way out, you could find yourself in a pickle. A very spicy, very hot pickle. I don't know why all the firemen aren't dead yet. Here's one now. Hello, uh, my name is Terry. Uh, welcome to the fire station here. I'd, I'd show you guys around, but the guys are out on a job and uh, I can't get in because they have the only set of keys. I would have gone with them, but uh, I was out shopping for groceries. I do a lot of the cooking here. <laughs> uh, funny story, I, I accidentally burned my hand the other day on the oven. I was cooking a pizza. Uh, it's, it swells still. Uh, it, it stings when I sleep, but 
We have these uh, fire helmets here that we use. Uh, this is a Benjamin Franklin II. Uh, the guys use a three, but I'm, I'm told the two is essentially the same thing. Um, it burns a little quicker, but that's okay. Um, we got a new dog in the station, a Dalmatian. He's cute as a button, I'm told. And uh, I've suggested some names for him. Uh, Beverly, Stuart, or Philip uh, were my suggestions. They named him Ranger, which, which I like. It, it is a cool name, you know. Um, I had to clean his bed the other day because he got pretty sick. Um, I did miss the, the, the company uh, softball game, but I'm not really a sports fan, uh, you know. They should be back anytime soon. Um, they'll call. Here's a word for the wearing. The sun is bad. It's big and made of fire. Here's some guy. Well, it is no laughing matter. It is not a joke. It is not some some MTV prank show. And now, despite what what liberal Hollywood would like you to believe, the sun is not your friend. You cannot hold hands with the sun. You cannot play ball with the sun. Now, it is my job to educate. <clears throat> it's what I do. And I do it not because it is fun, but because it is my job. Now, the sun is bad. It is not only hot, it is made of fire. It is a gaseous sphere of fire. Now, before I come in here every day, I wake up and I pray. I pray for those poor souls flying in planes and hiking mountain trails. The CEOs at the top of tall skyscrapers and Northern Europeans, as I've drawn on my graph and I keep that there to remind me that we are ever so close to the sun, that orb of death. That, 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 that very, very hot Satan that we keep poking at it is right above our horizon line, dangling there like an orange. Like, it's, 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 it's what Newton went through, but with an orange. Now, if we keep poking at the sun, it will fall. And it is heavy. And it is big. And it is hot. Yeah, I was in a fire once. Where do you think I got these scars? Nom? Hell no! You ever been trapped for 28 hours under a cross beam while a white hot piece of rebar is poking at your rear side? I don't think you have. I don't think you have! As you can see, fires will punch your fucking face right off and shit in the facial cavity where your face once was. Statistically, fires are responsible for nearly 100% of all fire-related injuries, fire-related deaths, and fire-related damages. Fires fucking suck. But with your help, maybe, just maybe, we can fuck fires. Together. Good night. <laughs>